Nala who? It's Nala what? It's Nala who? It's Nala boo moo la. What's up guys? I'm Sheba the Todd. I'm gonna be answering y'all questions about YouTube. I've been doing YouTube for two going on three years. So I'm about to answer y'all questions, but before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Be part of the Malibu gang, hey, with the gang, you a lane, because you know you want to come hang with the baby lane. All right, and make sure you turn your post notifications so you know when I post. <laughs> yeah, y'all, this is not posting on my regular schedule. I'm posting this on a Monday. On a Monday, I know. I didn't give y'all a video Thursday. So I was like, let me give them a video a little less on Monday. Y'all get something Sunday and Monday, because I love y'all. I'm going to answer the questions that I got from Instagram, Snapchat, and some of my friends. So, first thing first, I just wanna do a little intro. If you're new to my video, hey, what's up, hello? My name is Malibu Moolah, I'm 21. I've been doing YouTube for two years. And I love YouTube, I love film, I love editing, and all that craziness, okay? If you see some of my videos, I do everything. Like, I don't really have a niche, like, I just do whatever. I just think it'll be entertaining for y'all, cause I love entertaining y'all, so. Hey. All right, the first question, how to stay consistent? Honestly, I would say the only way I, um, I usually just stay consistent because I love doing YouTube. Like, I'm always coming up with different content like creations like different ideas some of them go through some of them don't but to stay consistent i wouldn't say if you're start, but don't start with the schedule start with posting at least once a week or now because youtube has shorts start posting shorts so people can know who you are you know you don't have to vlog all the time girl you got some new toupees you just went to dollar tree oh you just did a show do a haul you know post that you know, sometimes with the haul, you don't even have to, like, you know, get all dressed up. You just want to show people what you got. That's cool, too. So, the way I stay consistent is I usually write out my videos. I don't date them. No. I don't date them. I just write out my ideas. And whatever one I can do in that week, that's the one I'll do. If I can't do it, then I'll figure out another day, another time to do it. So, I would say write down your ideas. And try to post at least once a week, you know. Once a week... At any time you feel like most people will watch. Would be always after like 6 o'clock. That's when people are out of school, out of work. Most people do security. So you know they're watching videos any day after that. And also what I used to do is I used to keep it in my phone like Malibu you gotta pose. Malibu you gotta pose. I'm like okay okay I gotta pose I gotta pose. So reminders write it down you know. Plus, if you love doing YouTube, you you gonna, you gonna want to post. So, best editing apps for me, when I first started out, I was using iMovie. But then I wanted to do the little tricks, you feel me? So then I watched this YouTuber who uses Vello. This is what I use. It's V-L-L-O. To get all the cool stuff, it's only $5.99. You only pay that once a month, which is better for me. And, you know, it comes with all the transitions, all the cool effects. You just got to play with it. I've been working with Villo for, like, a good, like, I don't want to say, like, six months. Like, I've been playing with the app. And I like it. Like, I've been doing different cool transitions, timing, all that. So, I would say for me, Villo, but try everything, you know, because you want to see what's perfect for you. It's for you, for your channel. How long does it take editing? For me... I master editing between two to five hours. It depends. I'm a big procrastinator. So if it's two hours, that's because I'm really in it. Five hours is something's just not looking right. But like the process I do is I edit my video. Then I add in my intro, my outro. Then I add in, you know, the words, the cool effects. Then I add in the music. Then I watch the whole thing and like, you know, try to fix whatever, whatever. So that's how I edit. So editing... Depending on the video, could take you two to five hours. If you like that, then YouTube is for you. If you don't like that, that's okay. There's some people who take more time to edit because they want perfectionists, and that's what's up. You feel me? So I would say two to five, you know, two to five hours. And then what to expect, how to go about starting. I would say don't expect, like, don't expect people to promote you. You have to promote yourself. You are your biggest promoter. You have to invest in yourself. 
you have to post you have to promote yourself don't expect people that you're close to to watch your videos like not everybody you're close to is gonna watch your videos they might they might but don't expect everybody to watch your videos don't expect, oh, if you do a trending video that you're going to blow up. No, sometimes that will happen, sometimes that not. If you genuinely love doing YouTube because you want to do YouTube, then you wouldn't even care about a view or whatever. You feel me? Also, you know, be yourself. Like, there's so many people who I have met in my YouTube journey who's just like me, built like me. And it's wonderful to know, like, I'm not alone out here. Like, there's people that actually fuck with me because they fuck with me because they, they like me. With, like, we twin. We ten of them. So, like, you know, don't be afraid to be yourself because there's somebody out there that's just like you. Okay? And fuck the hate comments. Like, you know, as long as you're having fun, that's really all that matters. Is it better on an iPhone? I Is it better on an iPhone, iPad, or computer to edit? So, for me, when I first started YouTube, I was recording off my phone. And so I kind of already knew how to edit on my phone, but for me personally, because I like to catch all the little nicks, I edit on my iPad. I don't know how to do it on the computer because I never edit on the computer. I mean, there is some YouTubers that I know that edit on the computer, but for me, I love to edit on my iPad because I can catch every little nick. Every little nick I can catch. Not on the computer, some people probably can, but for me, I like the iPad. It's just more better for me. It's easy for me to screen record like the funny memes and put them in the videos and stuff like that. So, yeah. When you first started out with YouTube, were you embarrassed to tell your close friends and family about your channel? Honestly, my close friends are also YouTubers. Like, so, no. But to tell my family, nah. Because honestly, I, first of all, <laughs> let's keep it a bug. A lot of people told me to do YouTube because I used to talk a lot on Snapchat. So, when I first started my YouTube, I was not scared to put my YouTube out there. I was scared because I wanted to be the YouTuber that was, like, low-key free with their, like, subscribers. Like, y'all know I be telling y'all the most craziest stories. I be showing y'all all that. Like, I be giving y'all the size 50 hauls. Y'all be seeing the tatas, the ass, everything. So, I was kind of embarrassed about that. But, like, afterwards, like, I'm 21. I'm grown. Like, I don't really care no more. I do what I want to do. And, you know, don't be embarrassed to tell your family and your close friends because that then you will know who supports you. And if they don't support you, when you up there on your top hill house, they going to be down there mad because they didn't support you. Okay. Best camera to start YouTube with. The best YouTube camera to start with is the Canon G7 Mark too, to start your channel with and build on it now if you want to do Sony you can if you want to do another Canon you can't but for me personally because I've been doing YouTube for like two years seriously sorry y'all I don't like my chains cricket like seriously I've been using my Canon and my Canon like doesn't give me no problems like none of that none of that none of that do you get paid once you have 1k subscribers no y'all always ask me this question you get paid no once you hit 1k subscribers that don't mean shit you have to have 4,000 watch time. And that's where I'm stuck at. I have, I'll tell y'all, I have 3,348. I'm literally stuck, like right there. Stuck. You can even have 4,000 watch time and not even have 100,000 uh, subscribers yet. Like, but YouTube is so funny because it's just like, it's just crazy, y'all. <laughs> it's just crazy. So, no, you have to have 1k subscribers you have to have 4,000 watch time to get monetized and you have to keep up with that to get paid because the watch time does go down it's not like once you hit 4,000 that's it no it will go down it will go down was it hard to promote yourself and the people promote you too um honestly no because the type of person I was in high school like I was like very carefree I guess I would say like I love promoting myself because I, my mom has molded me into the personality that I am. I'm very outgoing sometimes. I'm very laid back. So people was already attracted to my personality on Snapchat and Instagram and Facebook. And, you know, there was a lot of people who did promote me because, you know, they fuck with me. Like, this one girl named Nadia. Like, she used to always post me on her instagram story my friends on facebook used to share my videos like you know i don't know there could, there could be people out there that like share my videos to people you know but hey you know i'm not complaining a view is a view 
You could be a hater, <laughs> you viewing it, boom, I don't really don't care. But if you a supporter and you love me, I love you too. Like, boom, we in this together, you feel me? It's doing YouTube hard. YouTube, it's like, I have a love-hate with YouTube sometimes because it's like, you could put in so much work and still not reach where you want to reach. But you gotta understand at the end of the day, like, I came into doing YouTube for fun. I never cared about the money, I never cared about making a bag, like, it was always just for fun youtube is a hobby to me it's not a career now if it if i get serious maybe it'll change into a career but like you know i'm dealing with real life i'm dealing with this and that and you know as a youtuber they expect you to put all your life out there but sometimes you don't want to like like it's like thursday i was supposed to post thursday and i didn't want to because i was dealing with things that you know i had to deal with people was like where's the video like yo calm down i'm still a person <laughs> and you know, sometimes YouTube don't want to upload your video. Sometimes, like, YouTube would be like, oh, we heard the music, copyright. Like, sometimes YouTube is hard, but sometimes it's easy. Like, once you catch on to, like, the little flows and the goals, you'll be good. And then our last question is, oh, what's been the ups and downs of my YouTube journey? I would say the up was <laughs> that one video that has, like, 40K views on it. Didn't really think that video was going to blow, honestly. I thought the video was, I saw Stella do the type of video, so I wanted to do it too, because I thought it was funny. Um, the promotions I've been getting with Dossier and, you know, Java Coffee, like different promotions hitting me up, telling me to do this video with them and do that video with them. And the downfall, I would say, for me is more so of, you know, the comment and, you know, people saying things to me, but you know, this is what I wanted to do. This was the lifestyle. So people judge me off my YouTube videos, but then again, it's like, it's whatever I put out there. You feel me? So I just say I have learned sometimes I have to watch what I say on YouTube sometimes, but then again, it's your channel. You can do whatever you want to do. And you know, like I grew up. So there's some videos on there that on my channel that's just like, sometimes I'll be looking at them like, girl, why do you even record that? Like, wait. <laughs> So, like, you know, the ups and downs would really just be, like, dealing with people, you know, promotions. I have met a lot of people across the U.S., like, that I really fuck with, like, that really fuck with me. And, you know, YouTube is just a crazy experience. And if you're ready for the roller coaster, then hop on in with me. Ah! So, I hope this is all y'all questions. If y'all want a part two, comment down some questions you have because I could give all the tea. I could give all the tea, okay? So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, part of my gang, hey, with the gang. You a lame because you know you want to come hang with the family. Make sure you turn on your post notifications so you know when I post.